you might have launched your website and you looked the next day, the next week, maybe even a little bit after that, and you're like, you know what, my website's not anywhere on Google, it's not ranking anywhere. Uh, we tend to get that question a decent amount, and we get that question probably a, a time or two a week, where a newer member launches their website and says, hey, it's not in Google, you know, I'm not ranking anywhere yet. And our first question is, when did you launch your website? Is it something that's a brand new website, you just launched it within the last month, or is it something that you launched a year ago? Now, if you just launched your website, within the last you know week or two or even the last month. Uh, part of the issue is that it's so darn new. Now, depending on how competitive your market is, just like we mentioned in the previous videos, de uh, depending on how, how competitive the market is, it can take longer to get up there in the rankings. And um, if you're in a competitive market and you just launched the website, odds are you're probably not gonna be anywhere in the first three pages within that first month, potentially, if it's a very competitive keyword phrase, okay? Now, if it's a, if it's a less competitive keyword phrase, something that's a long tail keyword phrase like we mentioned before, with four or more words in the search, then you can definitely rank a lot more quickly. Uh, we've I've literally launched a website before and had it on page one within eight to 10 days of launching it, being very intentional and going after keywords that weren't very competitive in a smaller city, okay? But if your website is not showing up in Google yet, you know, what do you do? So I'm just gonna bounce over here to uh, the web browser and I'm gonna give you a quick uh, little bit of homework to do uh, to, sh to number one, see, if it's just that your website's not in anywhere or if it's just in going after a competitive keyword phrase that you need to do some more work on. So the first thing I would do is number one, if you launch your website within the last two to three weeks, don't worry about it, okay? It, it takes a little bit of time sometimes for Google to recognize your website. Uh, if you haven't done this yet, what you should do is go to Google and search the, ten, the your company name and then your city, okay? And what should come up uh, if Google has indexed your website, it should hopefully be your investor care website. So you can see here, I typed in Truth Time Homes Birmingham. Uh, this is one of our members, and I know for a fact that this is their website. And I believe these are both their carrot websites as well. So you can see here, their carrot websites are popping up. And the reason it's popping up is because it's their exact company name, Truth Time Homes, and then I put in their city in there. You wanna make sure the exact city that you're in is in there. So we can try to really narrow it down to see if Google has our website anywhere in their index at all. And that's all we're trying to do here, is we're trying to make it to where, okay, is our website in the index at all of Google? And all that we mean by in the index is, good, has Google looked at it, has Google saved it and said, okay, we found this website. If it's not, what you need to do is I would go and open up your Google, your Google Plus account. Okay, so go to Google Plus. If you have a Google Plus profile, open it up. If you don't have one, I would, I would suggest you go to uh, one of our modules further down the line in the 3D per day. It's called the Google My Business um, video. Google My Business. Go through that. It's going to walk you through how to set up your Google My Business account, including your Google Plus. But what I would do is I would just hop right over here, right here in my Google Plus um, deal, and I would just post a thing saying, hey, uh, guys and gals, check out my new website. Okay? And then I would put in your website right here. So w whatever, there's a full URL whatever your site is, .com, okay? And then go ahead and share it, make sure it's public. Now, the reason we're doing this is because if your website has not been picked up by Google, let's say, and you just launched it here very recently, we wanna make sure Google recognizes that this website is online. Now, we already built some things into Investor Carrot that goes out there automatically and pings Google and pings some other things that, that lets them know when new content is created. But we can help it along, we can help the process along. So oftentimes, just by going on the social media places like Google Plus and posting our link to our website or our new blog posts over there, and getting Google to recognize that this page or this web, this website or even this blog post is new and that they should go check it out. Okay, so don't fret. If you set up your website within the last few weeks and it's not anywhere that you can find online, do the first thing of go to Google and type up the exact name of your company that you put on the website and in the city and or state that you invest in. If your website pops up, awesome. Google has spidered it. Google has indexed it. If it has not popped up yet, I would go to Google Plus or some other websites out there and post a link to that new website so Google recognizes that it's there and they can get it in their index. And next, number two is be patient. Go through the rest of these modules and start to implement things. Go through and tweak your content. Go through and build some back things according to the way that we teach and get those rankings to, to come up over time. So do not fret if you just launched your website and it's not showing up in the search rankings anytime soon. That's a part of the process. All right, let's go to the next video.